Hi everyone, it's me, Kira. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all good and I hope you're having a really good day as well. And today, if you haven't read the title of the video, I am actually going on holiday. Um, so this sort of vlog is going to be like my travel vlog, maybe like the first couple days, I think. I never really know how I do my like holiday vlogs. I just... I do random different things every time but I'm gonna start off at the vlog um, now because I know that tomorrow morning I'm gonna be waking up at 3 a.m. and I will not be wanting to start the vlog off at that time and then I'll probably also be a little bit awkward uh, to do an intro at the airport as well. I am back with probably two travel vlogs for you guys. Well, Two holiday vlogs for you guys today's the travel one and if you want to know where i'm going i'm going to cyprus i'm going back there again so i went there um in october and i absolutely loved it and we sort of put this holiday very last minute like literally like three weeks before like the flight and everything so yeah it was extremely it's like a last minute holiday um but we go tomorrow flight is very early in the morning so you have to wake up very early in the morning so i have showered hence why i've got wet hair um just waiting for my mum to finish with the hair dryer because i need to dry my hair but i've already packed my hair dryer <laughs> yeah, i've got my little holiday nails on look how cute these are they aren't the original ones that i wanted but they actually turned out a lot nicer than i thought they're like Sort of like a pearlescent sort of vibe to them. I've um, got my lashes done. This is like my first ever time having lashes as well. So I'm kind of in love with them. I'm going to try and do like a little day vlog on TikTok. So make sure you follow me on TikTok as well. I'll just leave it here. It's literally just the Kira Lambert. But um, everything's getting ready. I might do a little what's in my hand luggage. In case anyone's interested. Because I love watching those videos. Um, so yeah. But I'm just going to finish off unwinding. And finish off packing my hand luggage. Because I haven't fully packed yet. So we're now on the plane, but I'm too awkward to get my camera, so I'm not getting my camera and I'm just gonna vlog on my phone as well. Just need to note to self that I've got this on, but we're on the plane now. Um, finally. It took a little bit longer than expected, but we're here now. It's a fairly quiet flight as well, there's quite a few like empty seats, which is quite nice. Um, and they've got the, let me turn it around. They've got the Made by Mitchell at Airline Exclusive on here. I'm so excited. I'm definitely gonna be getting that one because I really want it, I love my biometric makeup at the minute. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that. And I've got my AirPods out ready. I'm just listening to a bit of music during takeoff and then I'll get my iPad and stuff out. Here we go. So we've got like, I don't know, an hour and 40 minutes or something like that left. And they've just come through with like the duty free stuff that you can buy on the plane. Um, and I got the Made by Mitchell um, travel edition set thingy with Bobby. I'm so excited, it looks so good. So it comes with, just in case anybody interested, and at the moment, um, EasyJet have a 25% um, off all beauty products as well. So normally it's £26, but with the 25% off, I've got for £19.50 really good and you get um you get a beauty blender and then you get two blurishes you get one in peach sugar which is actually really nice and then melon me, melon <laughs> melon sorbet which is like one of the really popular ones and it's so pretty and i'm really excited to use it because i don't actually have any of the actual blurishes yet blurishes i just have um um drip drip and then the like glass skin effect like highlighter things i don't really know what that glass does um so i'm really excited to try a blush although i have like no room to put it but it, it's actually got a small um box but let's try and squeeze it in my bag should be okay uh, but yeah i'm very excited to try that out um but i'll let you guys know when i try that out as well but yeah i haven't got too much longer now which yeah it's all good I've, I've almost finished my film i've got seven minutes left um and then I probably won't start another film because there won't be enough time to like, finish one off, but I'll put on like something. I don't know. We'll soon see. But um, yeah. Okay, 
Right, we are back with the old sat on the balcony doing my makeup and a little oh, oh, TD session. So um, I'm just gonna get ready whilst I just sort of chat to you guys about my day. So as you can probably tell, I am here now inside this. You can probably tell by the sun beaming on my face. And I'm currently getting ready for the evening because it is 6 p.m. here and we actually landed um like two Cyprus time because we are two hours ahead of England. Um and um yeah so we arrived here around two um the flight was actually really good i've probably inserted like a few clips from the flight but i didn't really vlog too much uh, the flight was really nice treated myself to some makeup duty free makeup on there as well and um as it really about the flight it was quicker than expected because of some strong tailwind so the old cat in, no he's not captain, pilot said. Yeah, sorry, I don't actually have a mirror because I don't bring any eyeshadow. shadow. So I'm having to use my teeny tiny mirror on my highlighter. Anyway, um, in fact it was very easy. We were like the only, um, what's the word called that I want? Um, like public flight? I don't know, there was like a few private jets and like tiny little planes, like light aircraft. We were the only... I'm not too sure what the word is that I'm looking for. But anyway, we were the only flight that was there basically. It was very odd. We we literally pulled up and we were like, are we actually like here? Are we at a public airport? Like what on earth's happened? Like why is it so quiet? It was really quick to get through everything. Cyprus is like interesting here. So you go through like these electric border gate things where it like scans your passport and then it takes a picture of you and it prints out a, a little picture of you and like some of your information that is copied down from your passport and then it just like gives you a bit of piece of paper and then you take it to like an actual human at customs and then they take it from you basically and they keep it and they check your passport they stamp your passport you still get stamps here and then um you just go in. It's pretty. It was a pretty simple process, and because, as I say, we were the only commercial. We were the only commercial flight that actually came in. So it was super quiet. Yeah, and then we got in the taxi, and we came here. So, if you've watched my videos before, if you've been subscribed to me for a little while, or if you've just come across me in general, you'd know that I have actually been to Cyprus before. We actually came here in September um last year so it hasn't even been a year since we are last here and we are in fact staying in the same hotel which i have done a tour of on there um i can't remember if i did a room tour or just a normal hotel tour i'm not 100 percent sure now actually i like to go to a hotel two or three times like once you found somewhere like we'll go somewhere new for the first time and if we really like it we will come back one or two more times because you just know you like it and sometimes it's not actually worth risking Being somewhere new although I do want to go to a lot more countries so obviously you do need to try new places um, I can barely see, I don't know if any hey, of that's blended in properly. I do very much like this hotel, it's a small one. If you, again, if you've been subscribed for a little while, you know that I've vlogged, I think, two two trips to Rose. We actually went there three times, but I think I only vlogged two of them um, to Rose in Greece. And in fact, did stay in the same hotel, well, actually resort each time, and because it was a resort, it was obviously much bigger, but I am 20 now, so I'm not really, like, desperate to have all the pools and um water side obviously i do I'm a, I'm a, i am a water baby so i obviously need a pool but i'm not too fussed at water slides or any other like entertainment or shows and stuff but yeah that's just if you want any information about where we're staying or anything is actually same hotel obviously we will be back home by the time all these are uploaded however i post on tiktok like near enough real time i'm like two three days behind on tiktok instagram is real time so if you are interested in seeing like anything that i do real time 
then please go follow my Instagram. I actually hit a thousand followers, um, which might not seem like any big deal to some people because I know some people just have a thousand followers from like friends and stuff, but I'm not really that person to like add friends or friends or just like random people that I've met for the first time. Um, I'm not really that type of person, but um, I know like people do have like, you know, a couple thousand or whatever just from friends. However, on my um, official career number one, I have hit 1k and I hit it during my flight. So when I got out, then I landed and turned on my phone, I saw that I had actually got 1,001 followers. So um, I was actually well happy about that. I'm very excited because at the end of the day, I worked hard and posted consistently on Instagram, especially the last sort of six months, um, to gain more of a following on whatever so i'm very happy and excited about that and i also hit 500 on um here as well and then when we got here we sort of like unpacked and settled in because obviously we've been here before we know the drill we know how things work we know where to go and fun fact we are actually in the room next door to ours the one that we stayed in last time there's currently someone sat on the balcony in that room but like, it's literally there it's literally like I'm looking at it so that's pretty cool we spent about an hour and a half outside so as I say we were pack unpacking and then um, chilled for a bit and then she got sun cream on and got in our swimsuits to find some bed and we sat quite by the sea because as I say we're literally on the seafront but yeah I can't even tell if any of this is blended in properly because I'm using the tiniest mirror um, but that's basically my makeup done let me just choose a lip gloss to wear because all about them lip glosses I only, oh, I've got like four lip glosses it's just because I love my lip glosses so much um, oh it's gone so runny I mean I know it's a lip gloss anyway but normally this one's quite thick I'm absolutely obsessed with these glosses from collection I look she three put and my hair is not staying up like this though I am incredibly hot but it will be going down finished makeup and I'm wearing so I do I do obviously I'm not an influencer I don't get things sent to me I don't get things gifted I don't get discounts on things I don't um, get paid for any of this so I don't get all the money coming in to be able to buy new outfits all the time um, but the outfit that I'm wearing is an oldie but goldie and um, I think I've got like three holidays yeah I do have a few new outfits but this one is an oldie but goldie from um, Bershka I think there we go, I don't know if you can see that anymore, it's just, it's just a really long dress. Can't really go any further back, but this one looks like it's super cute and I'm just gonna wear it with my Doc Martin sandals. Um, I'm gonna go now because it's really hot and I'm gonna sit on my hair, so yeah, I'll see you probably tomorrow. So we're currently out for our evening stroll. We had our dinner, it was international night, although it didn't like seem very international to me, but I'm um, fussy. So anyway, we're out walking, wandering along, but everyone's probably staring at me because I'm just holding my phone up to my face. Um, however, the road, the paths, it's not actually an actual path. You're like on the same level as the road and you're just separated by cones, which just really baffles me. Anyway, I'm on the hunt for a Milo and um, some lays because you have to get some lays on your holiday so you can sit on your balcony with your fanta lemon and your lace um but let me show you the path the path as you can see the road's like right there and then it's literally just separated by the odd like pole or you could fall into like that there or get run over by a car but that is a view the houses is on the mountain and like the sun is obviously clearly setting as you can see it's just a view but yeah it's still fairly not too bad to like walk around in, but we're basically here now, I think. So it's currently our first full day here. Um, it's already like quarter to one in the afternoon. Um, we've had our breakfast, I'll put up some pictures here. Um, and then I just pretty much spent the whole day, well, the whole morning at the pool. I've just gone back to cool off a little bit, um, to use the bathroom, and I just topped up on sun cream. Don't get me wrong, I do top up when I'm out on the pool. But um, 
I feel like you can never get it thoroughly when you're like lying on some bed or whatever, so it's nice to sort of top up. But I've just got this little white shirt on that I got for Pretty Love Thing. I think it's like part of like the Money Made collection or something. I'm not really too sure. Um, and then I've just got this bikini from Hollister. Super cute. Um, I'm starting to get a bit of colour. Um, I burnt a little bit on my face like above my eyebrows. And that so I really put thick layer of sunscreen on. And I've got my Lilo. But um, yeah, just about to head back out to the pool. I'm gonna grab a drink on my way back though. <laughs> So it is now the evening. I have just done my makeup and I actually filmed it as like a main channel sort of star video. Um, oh, there's a boat over there. <laughs> as a main star sort of video, as a tutorial for my summer makeup look. So um, go check that one out if you want to see how I got this super dewy glass skin look because I am literally obsessed. This is pretty much what I do every single day, whether I'm at home or on holiday, because I think it is absolutely perfect for all sorts of occasions. And um, I am ready for the evening. I just need to put on my shoes and the rest of my jewelry. Got my earrings on. The earrings are from Brandy Mayville. Um, and I haven't put any other jewelry on yet. Just got my hair down and I'll show you guys my outfit. But first of all, we can just talk about how adorable that cat is over there. There's a little ginger and white cat that's been there for like three or four hours now, just sleeping on this chair. It's, it's on someone's balcony, but like on the floor balcony. And it's perfectly in the shade. And this cat has just been curled up in that chair ages like the look like how good the camera is as far as i can see in but look how cute that is i also don't want to look like i am filming other people's balconies and rooms that one is what i'm making ah there's a wall there so this is my outfit of the day it's this cute little orange dress i actually got it from primark it's like this year's summer range it's super cute and flowy as you can see the tops are like little sh the top so the top is a little strap that's got like little Puffy bits on it there and it's super cute it's a really nice fit it's a really nice length as well just above the knee and and it's super cute so that is what i'm wearing this evening and i'm just gonna wear my white converse with it as well and i'm crouching down because i do not fit in all the uh, camera frame currently and i'm gonna show you the view because so it looks really pretty this is the current view how cute sunset this is really pretty cute and this is like my setup as well as if I film if you're ever wondering. Um just on this little table here, a drink, and there's all my makeup and I'll sit on that chair. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have my dinner. Guys, look at these desserts. I'm ignore the jelly, everyone goes for jelly on holiday, right? Um, but why does everything look so soon to on my camera? Um, look at these desserts. I haven't got a clue what these are, but let me turn on my flash. Okay, there we go. Can you see how sparkly that is? This looks so cute. And this little chocolate mousse is also very sparkly. And this mousse That's here, nice. I think it's mousse anyway. It's really sparkly too, like, look at that. I will go inside and show you guys everything because I don't have everything, so I'm a bit of a fussy eater. And I don't like to like really try any foods. I try, but like some things, I'm like, yeah, I ain't eating that. But um, I will go inside and try and take a video. I just feel really awkward. But I'll give it a go um, and show you guys everything because honestly, there was some like really incredible looking cakes in there. And I have to, they have to be shown. <laughs> Okay, I've managed to get a bit more in the shade this evening. Um, it is night three, um, and as you can see, the tan forward slash burn is coming along quite nicely. Like it's sort of this sort of bit tan 
but then like more up here it's more burnt some bits on my face like up off my eyebrows and along my hairline is really burnt and i don't really know why it's really random places to be burnt but the arm tans come along nicely and my legs are very nicely tan they don't always tan well but i'm pretty impressed with what we've got um but yeah as i say it is night three um and i hope i've managed to get a bit more like vloggy content this time around because usually i just do my makeup and talk about my day um but i have been trying to film a lot more um when i'm out and about doing stuff so hopefully that's coming across quite nicely and just adding a bit to the videos uh, this is probably my last evening for part one i think I'll probably end this part tomorrow morning and then do the rest from tomorrow evening. Um, I did also film a main channel video yesterday which is why you didn't get any sort of like makeup y chatty sort of thing yesterday. But yeah, so I just put on my moisturiser, it's so important to moisturise your eyes, that face when you're on holiday. I actually went in the sea today. We basically got a car for two days, rented a car for two days. Um, so we're going to go um, into Paphos harbour this evening um which we actually did last year as well um went there a couple of times and hopefully we'll go there a couple of times this time as well so we're definitely going today um and let's just have a real minute for a minute a chub rub it is a thing it doesn't just happen to larger people or mid-sized people it does also happen to like skinnier people it just depends on whether you have a thigh gap or not right just normalize it i've got it really bad this holiday like it's a severe rash and it's actually really painful even walk around i'm quite lucky in that i bought i've got two outfits for like the evenings that are legged if you will um, so I'm wearing one today, so hopefully I'll be able to walk around the harbour fairly comfortably because it does still hurt because the best way that I can explain it is you get like all the effects of a normal rash but then because it's constantly rubbing together it, it's sore, yeah, but it's also painful like it. the way I say it is, it's like two bruises constantly rubbing and pressing against each other it's that sort of pain like fresh tender bruises like that is the best way i can explain it and it does generally actually look really hurt yeah it isn't nice but hopefully at least we well at least we're driving down nice and then when we're down there just take a stroll it's not like it's not a massively long harbour but there are quite a lot of shops so you can go around those shops and have a little look around and definitely get a drink and when we were here last time we actually found a really nice um gelato place as well um and they did an amazing cookies and cream a cookies and cream one so we're gonna hopefully fingers crossed go back there again obviously i'm here in june for slash july because i don't come back until the third of july but right now it is june and the sunset obviously it's summer so sunset sets later in the day the night whatever it doesn't set until like gone eight whereas when we were here in september it was setting at like 6 30 like when we were when we sat because the restaurant doesn't open until 6 30 so when we were sat eating our dinner we would literally just watch the sunset go down it doesn't take very long at all to get down to the harbour um and yeah as i say sunset's gone eight so we should get there just in time to see the sunset um but yes we've got a car now and actually tomorrow we are going out on a boat trip it's like a sort of morning to early afternoon sort of thing we're going to the blue lagoon and i absolutely fell in love with the blue lagoon when we were here last time it's honestly beautiful and i was desperate to go back again when we sort of booked to come to cyprus i was like we have to go to the blue lagoon again and everyone like agreed <laughs> um so we're going again and i honestly i'm really looking forward to it i'm gonna take my gopro don't worry and i'm gonna try and vlog as much as what i can anyways Let's bronze the face back up again because we have gone a bit more pale that will bring it back to life where's my brush why have i put my brush in? i don't even know what i'm doing I'm actually going to use my new Made by Mitchell blush uh, and I haven't even used any of them yet so 
I'm really excited to use them. Oh, it's in real life. That's perfect for summer. Oh, I love that. I actually might use Melon Sorbet. It looks good. This is such a cute colour. And you can use it on your lips as well. Oh, this is very orange on the skin. Do a little bit on the nose as well. Okay. Let's see how this blends in. Oh, that blends so seamlessly. Okay, so it just adds just a really cute little tone. It's nothing too standy out -y. Okay, so we're gonna keep with the Made by Mitchell theme and I'm going to be using uh, one of the liquid blushes and I'm gonna be using Champagne Spray. I absolutely love putting this underneath my main highlight as well. I actually did it um, yesterday. It just really helps create a dewy look. So again, do it on your cheekbones and like everywhere else that you want to put your highlighter. That is what I'm gonna do. And then you just take the Beauty Blender and then blend it in. I just think it's super cute. And I like to use it as a base for my highlight. So like, I mean, you could simply just leave it as that, but I'm not gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna take my normal highlighter and just pop it on top. Give the extra pop. Like that. Boom. And then I'm gonna choose a lippy glossy. Um, Again, it's probably just going to be one or two. I did bring a couple of nudes, but I'm not really feeling either of the nudes. Um, I might go for this raspberry one. Yesterday I used the apple one, so I'm going to go for the raspberry one today. And I just, they're just so light on your lips. And I feel like they really help to the um, glassy skin look. I haven't added any jewelry yet, um, but it'll be either from Brandy Mayville or FNF. <laughs> so that's that. But I will do my little OO 2D for you guys in a minute. I'm wearing this little jumpsuit. It's from She Strapless and it's just super cute. I feel like it just looks super nice. Um, it was from Sheen, it's like really cheap, it's in their holiday section. Um, but yeah, I really like it. There's no pockets or anything though, which makes me feel a bit lost. But yeah, it is my outfit today. I currently have my sliders on, I might keep them on or just change to my dot mine and I'm not too sure yet but yeah, that's the vibe for today in the car, going to um, Pavel's Harbour we, as I explained earlier, we're going to the car because we're going out on a little boat trip tomorrow um, but we've got over two days, so we've got it today and we're just going to take the drive down to the harbour we did this last time as well um, but yeah, I'm going to be able to catch the sunset, we're going to that had our dinner and now we're away. We're over. Cute. Um, it's also cute. Very cute. Um, but yeah, the thing with Cypress, they actually drive like on the same side of the road as us. And like the driver's on the same side of the car as well. So that's quite nice. Nice and easy to drive on. It's just the rules and stuff are different. And the drivers are a little bit more. Okay, so that brings me to the end of part one for my Cypress holiday 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned for part two that will be up very, very soon, probably next week. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.